Good morning, it's Trisha the Knitting Lady. I'm at Picnic, Pickney Island National Wildlife Refuge. I'm gonna take a little hike, not too far, because my sense of direction is awful. So as you can see, a lot of trees, a lot of green so far. Now this is the main road, see? Just keep walking and walking. We'll see how far I get. At first I looked at it real quick. I thought it said Palm Road. Because uh, I thought there were palm trees, but there aren't. Now this is a salt marsh. And there's uh, information here about the salt marsh plants. So that's really interesting. It's very muddy. And as you see, there's water and lots of mud. Hey, anybody want to go for a swim? Only kidding. Now this is supposed to be the first stop on the hike. It's Ibis Pond. It's not, it's pretty much overgrown. Well, it's natural vegetation. What do I expect? There's a bird out there calling to us. I'm just trying to see where it is. I can see it. I don't know if it shows up in the video here. Okay, the white bird is out there. Don't ask me what kind of bird it is. Maybe somebody can tell me. And in the middle of all this is another oasis for butterflies. Different plants. Here's one little butterfly just hanging out there. This looks like you're in the middle of a jungle, doesn't it? And I'm only in South Carolina. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. That's one thing about living down here in the South, surrounded by water. Hi, I'm back at the condo. I don't know if you can see the little island there. There's turtles resting in the sun. One just plopped in the water before, but I think those are pretty um, relaxed. I don't think they're going anywhere. I don't know if I can get any closer. I think that's it. So this is my last day here. I'm going to return a day early. Traffic was crazy again today, so hopefully it will be better tomorrow. Hello again. I went out to eat today um, just for lunch. I was going to come back here and cook. And then I realized I haven't had Greek food in over two years since I left Astoria, New York. Astoria is in Queens. It's a suburb. A suburb. I don't know if that's the right word of New York City. You, know, you have the oh, borough. That's it. New York City has five boroughs. I was born in, in the South Bronx. There's Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, and Manhattan. So my son lives in Astoria as well. And it's a um, lot of Greeks there, a lot of good, really good Greek food. So I ate this place called It's All Greek to Me. And I had Spano, Spano, Pita, Spana, Spana. I can't even say the word. Anyway, it's like a spinach pie. Speno pita. <laughs> I was practicing it before. And sure enough, I should have it written out in front of me. Anyway, I had stopped at Tangered Outlets and there was this uh, store there called the Book Warehouse. I wish I had one near me. I found, um, a Kristen Omdahl book. I watch her almost every day. She has a little half hour uh, podcast or video cast that she does. And she's written several books. Um, and this is called Crochet So Lovely. It was only $5.99. So I couldn't pass it up. I have a few of her books. 
she does crochet, she does knitting, she designs. She's really a talented lady. And then they had um, a tea place, Spice and Tea. It was called the Spice and Tea Exchange. There's one, a store like that near me, Cape Fear Spices. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos before, if I mentioned it before. Anyway, I bought a diffuser because I break them all the time. I get the small diffusers and it doesn't seem to be working for me. So I did buy a diffuser. I'm gonna have some tea now. And I bought some, uh, let me see. This one is called Key Lime Pie Tea. It's Key Lime, Coconut, and Green Tea. Green tea is supposed to be good for you. I drink a lot of green tea. The thing is, there is some caffeine in green tea, so I can't drink it before I go to bed. Very sensitive to caffeine. And then there's um, the mint tea. I just got green teas. I didn't get any organic tea. I don't know what I was thinking. Not organic tea, herbal tea. Because the herbal tea doesn't have any caffeine in it. So that was it. I almost feel like going back there and getting herbal tea, but I won't. So that's it. Um, I'm probably going to sit there and watch uh, old movies and catch up with the videos I've missed on YouTube. And I will be leaving in the morning and maybe I'll stop along the way if I see anything interesting tomorrow and uh, do another video tomorrow. So everybody have a good night. I know tomorrow's Thanksgiving here in the United States. I'll be on the road. My son will be on the road. He's going to visit his aunt and uncle. Um, it's going to be interesting because he's in New York and the crazy mayor there is promising that he's going to have a lot of National Guard there to check people getting on trains and buses. I don't know. And I don't know what kind of bugs they are. They keep flying in front of me. But um, no seams. You know those little bugs? I've heard them called no seams all over the place. Not only here. So it will be interesting to see what happens if they ask him any questions. But he's a long time re residence of uh, New York City. He might be able to avoid them. So everybody take care. If I don't see you tomorrow, have a good holiday and have a good night's sleep. Bye.